Hi there. Today I want to talk about three common graphical projections which you may use when making drawings. They are the isometric drawing type, the cavalier drawing type, and the military drawing type. Perspective drawing types retain a perception of depth in the image from when the 3D model is flattened onto the 2D plane. So it might be a one-point perspective, a two-point perspective, or a three-point perspective, where all three axes converge to points. Unlike perspective, where parallel lines converge at points, parallel drawings, or axonometric drawings, take the object, project it to a two-dimensional plane to maintain elements of scale and keep the lines parallel. Each of these drawing types have different mathematical procedures which take the original three-dimensional model and project it onto the two-dimensional plane. For each of these drawing types though, a different type of distortion had to be applied to the original model to maintain that scale when it was projected onto the two-dimensional plane. For example, the military projection takes the original cube, let's say it's a one meter cube, and it shears it. So it moves the top of this cube that way. And then we view this cube from the above position. And then this axis, this axis, and this axis appear to be equally scaled. So let's have a look at the isometric drawing compression. This is a one meter cube. And the length of this line is 14, 14. If I do a make 2D on this, and come to the top view, this is what it looks like. You can see how that one meter line has now been reduced to 816, and this line, which was also one meter, also 816. But this line does remain the same at 1414. So this is to true scale. The other axes are not with the isometric projection type. The good thing about isometric though, is that a sphere does appear circular. However, the contours in plan have been compressed front to back. So let's have a look at the military projection. Um, I've got these two objects here, a one meter cube and a sphere. I want to do a transformation on these objects, which will mean that when I do a make 2D, the drawing will be flattened and any of the axes that are on plan will be to scale and any vertical elements will also be to scale. So I'm gonna take these two items I am going to isolate them so I can see what's going on. Take this cube and I'm going to rotate it by 45 degrees. And I'm going to take these two objects, go to the front view, so that's down this way. And I'm going to do the shear command. First point, top point, type in negative 45 degrees. And then I'm going to go back to the isometric viewport unisolate, and then rotate this back 45 degrees, and this one as well. Now if I look at it from the top view, you can see that these have been distorted in a way that when I do a make 2D on this, we end up with this. So I'll quickly do a make 2D of the sphere. So you can see with the cube that anything that is in plan, so this is the top of the box, is unaffected the sphere is correct and all of the lines are to scale and the angle is maintained so that's 90 degrees you can also see that the length between the corners is still 14 14 so it's undistorted in that way but we had to distort the cube to get this flat drawing result with a sphere you notice that the whole thing looks quite oblong it's an oval um, but the contours that uh, make up so anything that was in plan is still a circle. It's truly scalable in both axes, X and Y. So let's have a look at the Cavalier projection type. Uh, again, we need to take the input geometry, do a procedure on it, and then project it to the output plane using Make 2D. And when we do that, we maintain the lengths of certain axes and certain angles. To distort these objects accurately, the one meter cube and the one meter diameter sphere, I need to do the following. So I've created a cage edit around each of these uh, groups. 
and I've given them two points, two points, two points, X, Y, Z. I'm going to take those rear points. I'm then going to bring them forward towards the front. So I'm going to scale 1D, take the end point, bring them forward down to 707 mils instead of one meter. I'm then going to move them from left to right, the same amount. I'm going to move them up the same amount as well. Now I can delete these controls, take the groups, isolate them, go to the front view, and this is what we see. So now if I do the make 2D command, I'm not going to have hidden lines, and go to the top view, this is what we get. Unisolate, and I'm going to bring the cube across, and here you have it. So, as you can see, we have a 45 degree angle from the section cut to the plan view. The length, the length of this cube has not been distorted, and the ends of the cube have not been distorted either. One meter, one meter, one meter. You can see the sphere has been distorted in plan view like this. So this projection type is not made to work in the plan view. I want to show you why the military projection is useful. So let's say this is my page and I'm just drawing on an A4 page or something like this. And I'm drawing building footprints. And this is all to scale in the X and Y axes, right? Now I want to visualize this and bring it out from the page. Well, I can't really draw upwards, like an extrusion upwards, because the building will be hiding itself like this. It just appears a bit weird. So let's now do the same thing, but rotate the page at 45 degrees-ish. Building footprint here. Now I can extrude the edges of this building upwards. You can see three of the four edges and it looks okay. So this edge of the building and these parts at the top, the flat parts which are parallel to the ground, are to scale. Now the Cavalier perspective advantages. So let's say I'm, draw I'm working in section. I'm going to draw a building, let's say it's, I don't know, 20 meters tall and I'm going to draw a little stepped plaza or something like this and a tree. Now if I want to make this scaled section appear in three dimensions all I need to do is take the corners anything that's originally going behind the building and instead of you know extruding it upwards like with the military we were doing before I'm going to extrude it at 45 degrees. So I'm going to go outwards like this, down and back. And I can do another building behind it. And I can also do that with a stepped plaza and start to get some three dimensional definition. Maybe a road. So Quite quickly, you can take a scaled section and visualize it in three dimensions using the Cavalier 45 degrees projection. And everything that is measured from this horizontal axis and this vertical axis, they are all to scale, both at the section cut and anywhere beyond because there's no converging lines so there's no perception of depth. The only thing that you have to remember is that you need to distort anything that's going away from the original section. So if we're looking at the section like this, any and these were the this was the stepped plaza, anything that's receding originally right behind, it goes at a 45 degrees. I hope you enjoyed this video and you may be able to find these projections useful. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe, and potentially tell your friends. Cheers!